Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast, your one-stop shop for daily Miami Heat content. I'm on my path to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, so if you guys do enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So before I get into today's episode, I want to talk about Magic Mind. So Magic Mind is a mental performance shot that helps you think better and think faster, and it's something that helps reduce your stress. I've been taking it now for seven days and it's been a great addition to my daily routine and it's a drink that definitely enhances your mood it increases your motivation and it helps with focus so lately i've been really busy really distracted so i got laid off from my tech job three months ago which has been super stressful and so i've been applying to jobs every single day and lately have had a ton of interviews I'm going back to school right now, so I'm taking multiple classes, so I'm in the classroom and then afterwards studying, um, doing homework, so it's been a lot. I'm also a dad. I have a two-year-old daughter. I'm a husband. Um, I obviously have this Miami Heat podcast that I um, film for every single day, so life has been super busy, super stressful, and in the past day, seven days since I've been taking Magic Mind, it's been super helpful. Magic Mind sent me a package of these shots, and it's been like night and day since I've been taking them. So it's been incredible so far, and I highly recommend you guys try Magic Mind. So whether I'm on the basketball court, whether I'm at the gym, whether I'm at class or spending time with my wife, I have enjoyed Magic Mind um, these past seven days, and I think you guys should try it out as well. And so if you guys do want to try Magic Mind, you can use my code BEATMIAMI20 for a 20% discount. Or if you guys want to get your first subscription where you get a monthly subscription for Magic Mind, you can get up to 48% off your first subscription. So the link um, is in the description. So thank you again. So for today's episode, I want to talk about who will have a bigger impact for the Miami Heat and a bigger role if the Miami Heat want to be contenders next season. Will it be Tyler Hero or will it be Terry Rozier who helps elevate this Miami Heat team next season? So let's talk about the Miami Heat's most polarizing player on the team and Tyler Hero, obviously, is one of the most polarizing players. He is someone you either love or someone you either hate. I am one of those that is in the middle. I'm neutral. There are times where I will criticize Tyler for his bad play, his inconsistency, but I will also be there to praise Tyler Hero when he's playing well, when he's helping and contributing to winning for this Miami Heat organization. So Tyler has been a key piece for this Miami Heat in his five years, and he has been one of our best scorers since he entered the league in 2017, or 20, I mean, 2019, I believe, excuse me. So Tyler has been averaging 20 points for this Miami Heat team for the past three seasons. So he is one of our go-to reliable scores. He's not the greatest three-level scorer, but he is one of the few three-level scores that we have on our team. He's one of our best three-point shooters. He can get to the rack, even though he doesn't do it enough and doesn't finish enough at the rim, but he can get to the rim. He has a mid-range game, obviously, and he could shoot the three really well. So he is capable of being one of our primary scorers, and ideally, we need him to be our top scorer. Jimmy Butler would gladly take that back seat and allow Tyler Hero to take more shots and hopefully be consistent and efficient when it comes to his ability to score. So Tyler Hero gets criticized, like I mentioned a lot, but one thing that is undeniable is Tyler Hero's off-season work ethic. Like this guy's always in the gym. He's always trying to improve. He does lift weights and get stronger in the offseason, which is great. He just did that this offseason. He's trying to improve on his shooting, his playmaking, and his defense especially, which is great. But one key issue is consistency. 
He is inconsistent. He'll have one game where he scores 30, and the next game he'll score 10. He'll score 18 the following game on, you know, 8 of 10 shooting or whatever it may be, and then the following game he'll shoot 6 for 25. So inconsistency has hurt Tyler Hero. So if he can become more consistent, more efficient, that's going to be huge for his development, and that's going to be a huge factor for Tyler Hero's success with the Miami Heat. The other factor is injuries. Obviously, Tyler Hero, we all know, is always missing games. He's never played more than 67 games for the Miami Heat. Last season, he only played 42. So we need Tyler Hero to step up and play 70 games for this Miami Heat team in order for us to be a successful regular season team. We know he could score. He averaged 21 points per game last season. He shot um, 39 percent from three almost 40 percent um on eight attempts which is huge um free throw percentage you know dipped from the season before shot 85 percent um last season shot 93 the season before which is just incredible so we know he's capable his assists have gone up every single year he averaged 4.5 assists he's becoming a better playmaker even though he's not a point guard he is a good rebounder for a guard of his size he averaged five rebounds per game, almost a steal. So Tyler is good. He's a good player, but he needs to be available and he needs to be uh, consistent, basically. So um, Tyler fits well with Eric Spolstra's system. I don't know if he fits well with Jimmy Butler. That could be a different video. But um, whether he's coming off the bench, which it won't happen, or he's in the starting lineup, his scoring punch and his versatility as a person who can be a playmaker, if necessary, is something the Miami Heat needs in order to unlock our potential offensively. Because offensively, this Miami Heat team has been pretty bad. So Tyler, again, make or break year. We keep saying that. He's been on the trade block for the past three or four years with all these rumors about getting KD, Mitchell, Dame. It's It's been rough. But I think Tyler Hero can have a breakout season where he can average maybe 23, 24 points per game. He just needs to be available. And more importantly, when he's available, he needs to be consistent and efficient. And I think he needs to play a little more off ball because Terry is more of an on ball player and he's more of a point guard, even though he's not a true point guard himself. So speaking of Terry, let's talk about Terry Rozier, Miami Heat's acquisition from last season. Terry Rozier, aka Scary Terry, is no stranger to making an impact, especially when it comes to clutch moments. He is not afraid of taking those shots in the clutch moments. He's fearless when it comes to knocking down big shots and big three-pointers. Rozier definitely brings the energy to the court. So one key for Terry Rozier is his ability to play both guard positions. That gives the Miami Heat flexibility. He is the point guard on the roster um, that we need at this point because he's the only... Um, guy who really is capable of um, playing as our point guard outside of, um, you know, Drew Smith or Isaiah Stevens, these two-way players. So um, Terry Rozier can help create shots for others. We saw when he was on the Hornets last season, he averaged um, seven uh, assists almost um, per game with the Hornets. So he is a better, I think, playmaker than Tyler Hero. Um, he is a really good shot creator. I mean, he could shoot off the dribble. He can, you know, get to the cup. He can shoot threes. Um, so he is a super valuable asset for this Miami Heat roster. He is super aggressive, and that, I think that style does complement Miami's hard-nosed culture. Um, he has, again, experience and leadership that could be invaluable, especially when the Heat needs spark um, offensively. And obviously, I think we're going to have to stagger Tyler and Terry because they seem very similar. Uh, with their skill set. So if Terry's coming off the bench, he can help um, run that second unit and help facilitate and find players like Jaime Jaquez or Kalal Ware, these younger guys off of a bench, put them in their uh, spots where they can be successful and, and where they can score. So of the two, I think both need to be successful in order for this Miami Heat team to have a good regular season. Um, Tyler's 24 years old. Terry Rozier's 30 years old. So Tyler does have the edge because he's younger. He's been in this Miami Heat system for longer. Terry Rozier only played 30-something games last season before he got hurt and ultimately missed the last 10 games of the regular season and missing the entire playoffs. Um, So 
unfortunate that you know those two didn't get to play as much as they should have together as a backcourt unit. Um, but who do I think is going to make have a bigger impact next season? I think it's going to be Tyler Hero between the two. I just think Tyler's younger. Again, he's more familiar with the system and the offense. And I just think Tyler understands like this could be a make it or break it year for him. Like obviously he's under contract for the next three years, but if things go sour and we're not trading Jimmy Butler for some reason, or we can't trade Jimmy Butler, Tyler hero is always going to be the one that's the first on the chopping block to get rid of his salary. Um, he is one of our better, younger assets, even though the, the league seems to not want him. Um, but if Tyler can step up next season, get us like anywhere from 20 to 23 points per game, become more efficient, um, you know, shoot 40% from three, um, just increase his free throw attempts, getting to the rack a little bit more. I think Tyler can be that bigger X factor because we know what you're going to get with uh, Terry Rozier also. Um, but Terry Rozier, again, has to be our de facto point guard. So he's the one who's going to be setting up Tyler Hero when they're playing together. He's going to be the ones, you know, giving the ball to Jimmy Butler, Bam, and a bio. So I think Tyler has to have an impact because Tyler still is young. Again, Terry Rozier, we know who he is. He's 30 years old. We kind of know who Tyler Hero is at this point as well as a 24-year-old. But again, Tyler is still young. He's still developing. And there is room for improvement for Tyler Hero. So I think, again, with Tyler's youth and his potential, that gives him an edge in terms of the Miami Heat's long-term growth. Um, and again, he's been clutch as well. One of the most clutch scorers in the fourth quarter for the Miami Heat the last few seasons. So um I think when it comes to whoever makes a bigger impact next season, um, it really comes down to health and matchups and just what the Miami Heat need in the moment. If they need a consistent score, um, then that's Tyler Hero because that's what he does. Um, but if they need someone who's a little more clutch, I think Terry is a little more clutch, but someone who can also play make and facilitate and give the ball to Jimmy Butler in a contract year, then it could be Terry Rozier. But I'm going to say Tyler Hero, I think, is going to have more of an impact or has to have more of an impact next season. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you guys are interested in trying some magic mind, again, the link to um, my code is in the description and you can get 20% off or 48% off a subscription. So thanks again for watching.